ทำอะไรใครเฟชนะวู You say about some festival. You shouldn't feed the fish now, love. Okay, missus. Boy or girl? m i l o Hi, guys. If you're keeping fish, he keeping play around, lazy. I'm not lazy. If you're keeping fish in Thailand and um, they're tilapia or b a d a p i e n which are like a little silver fish, you can feed them for free. And I don't mean by putting poo in your ponds <laughs> by using this. Using this plastic bag. <laughs> this, my friends, is a banana plant, and all you need to do is get a knife and a bucket and throw it in. It works. It is super free, super easy. Knife and a bucket and throw it in. That's it. Throw a knife and a bucket in. So I'm going to hack this up, and I'll show you. They definitely eat it. Yeah, not fucking cut your finger up. This is what we're looking for. Banana. We've got absolutely hundreds of banana trees on the farm, so it seems crazy not to use it. We do give some to the ducks, but um, to cut down on feed costs for the fish, we've started introducing the banana plants as well. Took about a week for them to start eating it, and now they can't get enough of it. Here we go then. Let's give you a little bit of a close-up of a banana tree. So these are the tops of the banana trees, and you can see they're quite crispy. And we've had these for about three days now. Thanks, b o o n So the fish come up and start pecking these, and they soon break up. Uh, the ducks also peck the big bits. I'll break them up, and then the fish can get in there and get the tougher bits. So here, I'm going to throw this in another pond where we've got our geese and ducks, and they can break that up no no problem at all. The bits that we don't really use are the are the leaves. We use those as mulch if the if the goats don't get them first. Stuff that's gone well over, it goes uh, like elastic, so. I dare say they would eat it eventually, uh, and this is where the the hands, the, the the bananas were forming. So that's quite, it's uh, a bit too much. But again, you know, if you're not too bothered about leaving stuff rotting in your your ponds, then you, know, you could put these in there, and they'd eventually break down. We could put them in our crayfish pond and just let them rot down, uh, but really, we we just throw these. Where we've got some plants growing as a as a bit of a a rough mulch seems to work all right. Uh, you could compost them as well, of course. All right, let's get this stuff down to the pond. Now, in this particular pond, we've got our tilapia. So we've got the tab tim, which are the orange ones or or ruby. Ruby tilapia, and we've also got a hybrids in there as well. They eat it, but the ones that really go for it are the tin foil barb, and they've just started to come up for it now. They do feed quite well in the mornings on it, but the water isn't quite so clear as, it, as you get to about midday. It goes very, very clear this water. So um, I think I'll come back and I'll do another feed later on, and then you should be able to see the individual fish as they're pecking away. We've got three boy ducks in here, three um, Kaki Campbell drakes, and they get in there and peck it as well. We keep these separate from our main flock of ducks because we don't want fertile eggs. If you're selling duck eggs or chicken eggs, you really don't want them to be fertile. A lot of people don't like the the little star that you see in there, uh, but the main reason really is that they'll uh, they'll go off quicker if you don't sell them very quickly. Last year we had a real heat wave, and uh, we we used to keep our Campbell ducks um, mixed in with the drakes, and uh, they were rotting within a few days. So 
we had to separate them and it's, it's worked a treat. Right there, pecking away. Once I step away, then they'll uh, they'll step up their consumption. So we'll come back a little bit back a little bit later. Right, need to feed you guys. They wait around for the whole rice. Once they've had half a cup of that between them, then they'll jump in the pond and they'll be pecking away at that. But if they don't get in there soon, the fish will have them all. When Toon goes through the local village to town. There's a guy that's got a market stall, uh, does a market on a Saturday and a Wednesday and every other day or so we get all this, normally get more than this, normally about four or five times this amount and it's just cabbage leaves normally that have gone past the best where he just strips the outer leaves off. Fish love that as well now, so get on it, get down the market and look for people that are selling the veg, have a word with them and I'm sure they can sort you out with some free free fish food.